Premier. Sonia O'Sullivan holds that record, but it's going to be Faith Kibiego chasing the world record. Helen O'Beary still holds the Kenyan record, but it's Sefan Hassan's mile record that was set here a few years ago in great style that I think Faith Kibiego has, well, we know it's, she's got that set in her eyes and is well capable of producing it given what we've seen from her this year 349 1500 meters 14 5 5000 meters two world records this i think i was counting i think it's the 50th day since florence so that's a nice round day maybe it's 51 maybe i missed one or two who knows anyway either way it's going to be quick it's going to be fast she needs to go through the 1500 meter mark though if you think about it about 354 355 which given that she's run 349 should be well capable of. Has raced pretty lightly this year. Women's mile. The pace lights will tell us how they're going. They're looking for a pretty swift 2-4 or there, thereabouts through 800 meters. But just uh, for the those who are maybe not so familiar with one mile, it's four laps and nine meters. So we will be getting times at every 400 meters, but there's an extra nine meters to factor in. So it said two races, it's already split up really, given that the pacemakers have gone off hard, too hard, because Faith Kibiegon is right with the lights there, the green lights are the lights that she's keeping an eye on. Hayelu has slotted in behind her, Laura Muir leading the pack behind, and there's a lot of familiar faces for Laura Muir, who's had her own ups and downs this season. McGeehan just tucked in behind her, so is Jess Hull of Australia. I can see Melissa Courtney Bryant, big new 1500, personal best for her last week Nikki Hiltz the American just on the curb as well but out in front the two pacemakers Nanyondo will have the job of trying to keep it going as far as she can beyond 800 meters but it's now settled down with only Hayelu going with Kibiego well just under 62 for the first 400 which gives us around 203 204 for the 800 that you mentioned and just by way of comparison when Sifan Hassan set the mile record on this very track she went through rather erratically 208.50 for the first 800 and then put on the afterburners in the second half of the race i think faith kit Diego will be looking for something a little bit more measured here i think it's actually perfect they were looking for about 61.5 going through about 2.4 there thereabouts and this is exactly what she set up Hayel, who's being really brave and going for it. Her national record's held by Genzebi de Barba. So all those names I've said, they're all greats of distance running. Some from a long way back. There could be plenty of national records tonight, but will it be a world record for Faith Kipiego? Looks relaxed, looks good. She won the Kenyan Championships at 5,000 meters. We know she's heading for the double at the World Championships. Looks up at the clock. She's still got two full laps to go. One pacemaker's going to drop out here, but she is spot on. 2-4.1. Brilliant, brilliant timing. And you know, records by accident. She will have that intuitive feeling in her bones. The 5,000 in Paris was a surprise, and it wouldn't be such a surprise without adding pressure under her were she to break the mile record. It is relatively more achievable, I think, than what she did in Paris. Four minutes, 12.33 is what she's after. Hailu now is swimming in her own sea of lactic already. She's still got a long way to go, and the others will start to run her down. But they've got no chance of running down Kip Yegon. Nanyondo steps aside, done a good job to get to 1,000 metres there, thereabouts. But it's now all about the front fifth, Kip Yegon. And look how far ahead she is. We saw Sifan Hassan do this three, four years ago, but she did most of the damage in the last 500. But now she's way ahead of the light, and it's only the light that she has for company here and surely she'll be able to produce a big last lap it's faith kip Yegon coming towards the bell she was looking to head to the bell in a roundabout well look at that it's three six i was going to say three seven she's inside it she is inside it she's got around 66 seconds for this final lap well within her compass she's stretching away and pouring it on and then and the race behind is very much for second place faith kip Yegon on her way to another world record yeah, just to say that 66 is for a lap and nine meters, as I mentioned earlier on. So she has to work hard still, but it's well within her grasp here. Faith Kipiegon with just 200 meters left. And now she knows that if she could muster a 32-33, she's going to take at least a second off this world record. She's got to stay strong here, approaching the 1500 meter mark. We said 354-55. She's way inside that. She's not far off the world record through 1500 meters. Here she goes, Faith Kipiegon. Crowd on their feet here in Monaco. We've seen this twice already this year. Faith Kipiegon heading for another world record. This time it's going to be in the mile. She's going to absolutely obliterate it. 47.65. Can you believe it? Whoa! The others finished a 
mile behind. Faith Kip Yegon, 4.15 there, thereabouts, could be for Kira McGeehan, smashing her national record, beating the rest, I think, in a big chase to the line. But if the 3.49 was good, if the 14.05 was good, this is almost on another level. 4.7? There are hundreds of thousands of male milers around the world for whom that still would be a creditable time. Club runners, very, very good club runners, college runners, national runners. Faith Kip Yegon has now shown what she can do. Uh, this is her distance for me, you know, 1,500 of the mile. It is absolutely her distance.